Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I recently made some updates to the workout room slash workspace and I did this so that I could be a little bit more active and not sitting all day because I was really noticing some back pains and just really being so uncomfortable. Plus before we moved to Miami, I was always so active. We were literally walking everywhere all the time and then we moved here and especially like after the pandemic, you know, like working from home all the time, I feel like I'm just sitting literally all day and so like everything's just been falling apart in my body, it feels like. I'm being a little dramatic, but you know. So anyway, I just wanted to share my experience because I got a stand for my desk to make it a standing desk. And then I also got a treadmill for under my desk, but I'll share that in a moment. So I'm gonna start with the stand. You can see it back there. And that one is one that you put on your desk and then you can like lift it up so that it rises to eye level and you can stand and work standing if you wanted to. They also sell actual standing desks. And the reason why I didn't get a standing desk and I got the stand instead is because I have a desk that I like and I I mean it's in good condition so I don't see like the need to replace the whole desk however if I was starting from scratch I didn't have a desk or I had a desk that was you know not in a very good condition I probably would have gotten the desk itself so that I just didn't have to put anything on it you know just have already the desk that stands and that is it however because I do have a desk in a good condition I just wanted to get the stand that I can lift up and then still get the benefits so this is what it looks like. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward. It has two levels. You could technically put like this laptop here and then get a monitor and put it back here. However, I don't have a monitor at this time at least. I don't know if I'm gonna get one, but I don't have one at this time. So I just have the keyboard and the mouse here and then the laptop here. And I kept my old stand because it actually still helps keep it like higher. I could just remove the stand and then just keep the laptop there, but I actually prefer it that way. But anyway, lifting up the stand is super simple. You grab the handle here on the side and you can lift it up as high as you want to. So this is the maximum height and which is pretty good like for eye level and everything it's like right there. But if you like, if this is too high for you, you can always just go a little bit lower and then keep it there. I find this stand to be already like such a big upgrade because before I was literally sitting all the time. So even just standing, I feel like helps a lot. And I feel like moving your body and at least like maybe you can stand and stretch and do a little bit of something there while you work, I feel like that's gonna be more helpful. So if all you're looking for is just to really not be sitting all the time and get a little break in between from sitting, which I know sounds super weird, but if you've been sitting for a while, like if you've been working at a desk for eight hours plus a day, you know what I'm talking about. So anyway, if you do want to just get a little break in between your day, your constant sitting, I feel like this would be perfect so that you can just stand, do some of the job standing, then some sitting. It's really the same, like it doesn't feel any different than when you're sitting. But I would say if you do go with the standing desk, get like a little padded thing for the floor. So they do sell that. I got all this on Amazon and I'll be linking it, but they do sell a, it's like a mat, I guess, and it's cushiony. And so you can stand there and your feet don't get super tired because I actually got this standing desk before I got the treadmill. And I spent like a day or two just standing and working and everything. And by the end of it, my feet were actually hurting because obviously like I'm not wearing the comfiest shoes and then I was just standing and everything so it wasn't too great so I feel like if I had just gotten the stand I would have probably gotten the padded thing as well also this stand comes in a few different sizes so I got one that fit my desk without taking over the entire space but they do have larger ones so if you have like a couple monitors or you know just have like a bigger laptop or just you know have more space you can find it in different sizes but I ended up getting the smallest one which is 28 inches I believe so you can pick and choose whichever one works best for you. And now onto my second upgrade, it is the treadmill. So this is what the under the desk treadmill looks like and you can say hi to Ollie who is just chilling while I film this. But anyway, it's not really a big treadmill. I'm actually gonna move the camera to show you. That's the full length of the treadmill and honestly it's, I mean I'm not saying it's like super small or anything but it's definitely not like the size of your regular treadmills that you find at the gym or anything like that. So it works because it's easily storage and it actually has wheels. You can move it easily because of the wheels that it has at the front. So you just literally lift it up and then you can move it. And I mean, other than that, it is, I guess, just a regular treadmill, you know, it has a band. It just does its thing once you turn it on, but I'm gonna show you actually how I use it. So it's plugged in already and it has a power button here in the back. Power on. No, just move. And it does make noises, but you can control that. It comes with a remote and you can see here it has the power button. I'm actually not sure what the P is, but then this is for the mode and then here's like for the speed and then if you don't want it to make noises, you can just press this and then it will make a noise from now on. With this one, it'll you know start working. It goes three, two, one, like it gives you a countdown and then it starts moving. You can hear there's not too loud. And when I say mode, I mean it has a couple different options. So if you press the M, 
you can either set it so that you see the time i moved it a little closer so that you can see everything and so actually on the left you can see the time then you can see the speed which is a 0.5 and then this is actually currently on a setting where it's changing so it alternates so that you can see different things and then on the right you either get the distance or the steps so if i wanted to set it so that that's what you see you just press the m but if not if i wanted to keep it in this one I press the M again and then it stays there. And so this one shows you calories, which obviously I wouldn't consider that one as like a good metric because it's not really connected to any sort of heart rate monitor or anything like that. Then it still shows you the speed, that one doesn't change. And then the other one is steps. And you can actually see that it's at zero there because I'm not walking and it actually counts the steps as you walk. So if you're not walking, it's gonna mark everything at zero. You can increase the speed with this button. And I normally walk, I think, at like a 1.5 or something. So I'm on a treadmill now because I actually wanted to show you what this is like when I'm using it because the number one asked question that I get whenever I share this on my Instagram is, can you actually walk and work? So it's paused right now, but let's press the power button. It starts moving. And so I can work and, you know, I can decide the speed of this so that I can go as fast or as slow as I want it to be. This is actually slower than the speed that I normally use it at. So right now it's currently set up 0.7, but I normally use it at 1.4, I think 1.5. So I put it there. So I have it at 1.4 here. And I mean, you can still hear me talking. You can hear a little bit of the treadmill. I wouldn't say it is extremely quiet, but it's also not very loud. But I mean, you can't expect to have an equipment like this and not have it make any sort of noise. But anyway, I literally just stand here and work and I just type and do whatever I need to. I can use my mouse. I don't know, like people always ask me, how can you actually work while you're walking? But I guess if you've ever walked and texted and not tripped or anything, then you would probably be fine doing this too. You just gotta keep going like one step forward and obviously don't go too fast because then that's gonna make it harder. I would say it's pretty straightforward. I literally just walk and type and use my mouse and I have not taken any calls while walking because I feel like that would just be like awkward. Like, oh, this girl's just walking in the middle of a call. I don't know, I feel like it could just be like a distraction and so I would rather not do it. But anyway, other than that, I do normally do my work while I'm walking and I'm gonna pause this so that I can actually like talk a lot easier. It's not really like difficult, but I feel like, I mean, obviously it would take some getting used to. I guess maybe if you're like a super clumsy person, maybe it's not something that would work, but I feel like I'm so used to walking all the time and like walking and texting or like doing a million things while walking and so i feel like it just it's easier but again you got to figure out you know what's going to work for you now one thing that i did do and I, that i did get was this band so i noticed that standing here while working because my arms were like this my apple watch was actually not counting a lot of my steps and so while the machine yes does have like a step a pedometer i think that's the name of it i was gonna i don't know it was like a step whatever um, a step counter, a pedometer, or whatever. I still wanted all that data to be able to translate to my like my watch and like my phone and all that stuff. And so I decided to get this band that I actually put on on my ankle or a little bit above my ankle. And so I put the watch there. So I normally wear it on my wrist, but obviously like if I'm doing this and I'm walking, I want to track those steps. So I just remove this. I put this one on and I just, I found this one like on Amazon. You just make sure that this little like metal part is actually facing inward. So like on this area, this side of the watch, not the face. So it goes like that. And then the other one, same thing. Just go in here. And then you can adjust it with this. So, so I just put it on the max. Like I literally just leave the edges right here. So I'll Velcro and I just literally put it like that. And then I just put it around my ankle. I'll show you what this is like. So you get like the full picture. You just literally put it around the shoe over here. And then I just pull it. And usually that's good enough. I just have it like this. And then normally what I do just to make sure that everything is working, I just go on the heart rate app just to make sure that like it is tracking my heart rate right now. And so like it's working and it actually does pick something up and not just pretend that I'm not actually using it because if not, it's not gonna track anything. So it is measuring my heart rate right there. I don't even know if you can see it, but it's working. And so then I literally just wear it like this. I know it looks like a, what do you call it, that thing? Like whenever people are like on house arrest, I know that that's what it looks like, but whatever. I mean, the things we do to actually track stuff. So anyway, different angle, but here we go. It does its little three, two, one countdown, and then you start moving. And you literally just walk like this, and now the watch can actually track your steps. I'm just slowing it down so that you can actually hear me more, but I mean, this is 0.5, so it is a little bit slow. I'll show you like the speed that I walk at. I normally walk like at this speed, which again, it's still, I mean, I'm a fast walker, so this would be considered slow for me, but it is, you know, fast enough where I can feel like I'm actually walking and not being frustrated by 
feeling I'm walking too slow, but also slow enough where I can walk and work. So that's that on the treadmill. I mean, it is pretty compact. It measures quite a few things like time. But anyway, the good thing is that the treadmill is movable. So like, you know, if I do have to work while sitting because I still like sit through during the day, I'm not literally standing all day long because that would also be quite exhausting. But I just move it back and I just put the chair in. And then that way I can just like move it back and forth if I need to. And there's really nothing wrong. I would say the first time that I used it, I really scared Milo. Well, like I didn't scare Milo, the treadmill scared Milo. He was very confused by the noises and like the thing just like moving and me walking on something. I feel like for him, it was probably like this weird thing, like what is happening here? So he was not a fan at first. He would not come in the room, which was, it was a little sad at first, but he got over it very quickly. Like it was literally like a one-time thing. I stopped it for a second. I went to like pet him and then he was just fine. Like nothing ever happened. But if you do have pets, it might, like scare them a little bit do make sure that they do not go on the treadmill though so like if you have a pet that is actually quite curious like my dogs don't really care about these kind of things like they're just more like i'm gonna stay away from it but there might be dogs or cats or something that you know want to be on it and so definitely be careful with that because it's not really the safest for them the treadmill came like ready to go like you just had to put a little bit of an oil that it comes with the treadmill and you're supposed to reapply it every three months to the band so that it just stays i guess it's probably like for moisture or something i'm not actually 100 percent sure what it is for it just said to like put some of the oil and chris did that for me and then the desk did not come put together or like the stand but it was very easy to assemble like it had literally all the parts and then like the tools and you just put it all together and then you have a stand so anyway, that's what I'm doing to be a little bit more active as I work from home, just really upgrading my setup so that I'm moving and just staying more active. But you don't have to go all out like I did. You can literally just get a stand or you can just, I don't know, do whatever works best for you. I just really wanted to do this because I wanted to feel like I was walking more, moving my body more and just not really sitting all day. Like I literally was like, this is what aging feels like. Everything just hurts from sitting all day. So I did not want that. I feel like since getting this, I have more energy weirdly enough because moving your body is just great. Those endorphins and everything so I feel a lot better and my back like barely hurts now so anyway I will leave a link to everything in the description in case you would like to shop these products if you've tried different ones or like you have any experience with this please let me know in the comments section and if you have any questions as well please leave them there if you like this video please give it a like a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe see you next time